Well, he was given six months to live, but now a cancer patient has returned to Baltimore after a life-saving surgery in Europe. We first brought you Chris Lyle's story back in October, and today, ABC2 News' Jeff Hager spoke to him again about his road to recovery. Baltimore arguably has some of the best hospitals in the world, yet Chris Lyles had to travel 4,000 miles away to Stockholm, Sweden, to find the doctor who would save his life. Luckily, you know, I did get the surgery because they did find more cancer cells, and they cut all of that out. But, um, so, I mean, I still would have cancer, and, you know, probably more than, more than likely it would have came back and would have came back more aggressive, and then they wouldn't have been able to treat me. At 30 years old, the Morgan State and Johns Hopkins alum learned he had a rare form of trachea cancer. In this country, it was viewed as inoperable. But using stem cells from Chris's own bone marrow, a doctor in Sweden gave him a synthetic, tissue-engineered windpipe. Chris is the first American to undergo this type of surgery. The ongoing debate over stem cell use in this country forced him to go abroad to find it. We have doctors here that are smart enough that can, they can do the surgery here because everything that, you know, that was involved in my surgery came from the United States. The bioreactor came from Harvard Bioscience. The actual trachea came from Nano Solutions in Ohio. You're actually using your own stem cells to cure yourself. And, and if we can't do things, something like that, we're not cloning somebody. They're still awaiting the final bill, but initial estimates suggested Chris's surgery and six weeks of recovery would cost in excess of half a million dollars. My family used their life savings, you know, and pulled together and, and, and put up as much money as that we could. I mean, we spent over a couple hundred thousand dollars, just my family alone. I mean, right now I'm cancer free. So, I mean, it's a second chance at life. In Baltimore, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.